What's up, class? So, this is the sequel video to my first unique items video. In case you haven't seen that, it's a video of all the cool unique items that you can use to decorate your settlements in Fallout 4. These are items that are not part of the build menu, but can be placed manually. And thanks for all the suggestions from the viewers on the subreddit post. I listed those contributors in the description below. There will probably be a part three video. So if you want an item included that wasn't part of this video or the last one, then go to that Reddit post and add your suggestions. So I'm gonna include another 10 items in this episode and I'll reuse the key legend from the last video that seemed to help people a lot. Before we do that though, let's take a quick peek at this month's wall of fame. As usual, I feature the names of my amazing Patreon supporters on this here wall of fame. And here is the student council this month. Thank you guys so much for your generosity and belief in the channel. I'll leave a link in the description below in the iCard above if anyone else wants to support the school zone. Some fantastic perks in addition to seeing your name on this here wall of fame. And if you haven't noticed yet, there's also a join button now for the people that don't want to leave YouTube and take time to set up a Patreon account. It even has some perks that Patreon doesn't. Or you could do both. <laughs> Helping me helps the channel because I reinvest everything to keep it going. So thanks for any extra support you want to show. All right, let's get right into the items, starting with item number one, the clean teddy bear. So teddy bears are pretty common in the Commonwealth, no pun intended, but there are actually two unique versions you can find. The first one is a completely clean version that can be found in Vault 81. It's in the northeastern bedroom in a box near the bed. Those veterans of the game have probably passed it and already taken it. Like me. <laughs> there you go. Number two, the large teddy bear. The second unique teddy bear is an oversized version that can be found between Egret Tours Marina and a nearby broadcasting station. It was uh, posed to look like the driver of the bus. Now, like the pictures in the picture frames from part one, this will revert to normal size if you put it in your inventory. So if you want to keep it large size, you'll have to manually carry it to the settlement of your choice. But I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison with the normal teddy bear. There you go. A noticeable difference and perhaps worth the walk. However, be sure to save your game before you pick it up because holding the button to pick it up manually is the same button on consoles as tapping the button to pick it up. Number three, the happy birthday sweet roll. This is a fun one to collect. It's basically a sweet roll with birthday candles in it. I showed it off in my Vault 42 build on the counter in the cafeteria area. I've already collected it from its original location, but it can be found in Reed Marina Diner right about here. There'll also be a Tesla magazine on the table as well. Anyway, put it on a table and it makes a nice decoration for a kitchen counter. Maybe even create a display of baked goods like I did in Covenant. Oh, and here's a related bonus tip. You can drop single pieces of cork or other resource materials and it'll kind of look like brownies or Rice Krispie treats, you know? Neat little trick there. Nothing unique about it, but you know, I thought I'd drop that in there as a bonus tip. Number four, the orange fog condenser jugs in Acadia. The big orange jugs are mostly ugly looking unless you place them in the right context. In my Vault 42 build, I'd place them in a nearby greenhouse next to my whiskey distillery. So they kind of look like whiskey drums or something like that. Anyway, you can find these in and around Far Harbor, but there's a whole set of them on the lower level of Acadia. Number five, the tea kettle. And speaking of Far Harbor, another unique item that is rare in the game is the tea kettle. You've certainly seen the brown clay teapots in the game. If you've, you know, done any amount of exploring, those are fairly common. But the tea kettle is much more rare. There are a few of those in the game. One can be found in the railroad headquarters in the area where Pam hangs out as one example that I remember. But there is a one of a kind clean version of the tea kettle in Far Harbor. It can be found in the Vault 118 gift shop where Pearl is.
By the way, Pearl also sells a one-of-a-kind fedora called the Dapper Gent that boosts charisma by two. Just a little FYI before we move on to number six, McCready's Wooden Soldier Toy. Once you gain McCready as a companion and complete his personal quest called A Long Road Ahead, he'll be on his way to idolizing you. Last time we talked, I hope I didn't bore you to death by dumping my life story on you. Life story? What, what do you mean? You don't remember? I told you about my wife Lucy, and how she died. I even gave you that carved toy soldier as a token of our friendship. Sounds like I really did bore you to death. Hey, if it's important to you, it's important to me. Really appreciate you saying that. Once he does, he'll gift you with a little wooden toy soldier. It'll get dropped into your junk inventory though, so make sure you don't let it get automatically scrapped, you know, by forgetting about it. Just uh, transfer it to a chest where you can later put it on a shelf. Here it is displayed in my Covenant build. Definitely makes a cool little display item that you can't find anywhere else in the game. Number seven, the flight data recorder. Now this item looks like an interesting piece of science equipment. It's supposed to be the black box of an airplane, and there's two known locations where you can find one of these. The first is from the cockpit of the Skylines Flight 1665, east of the Crater of Adam and directly south of the Pentecostal Church. The other location is Skylines Flight 1981, which is found between Ten Pines Bluff and the General Atomics Galleria. I displayed this item in my Vault 42 build in the science area on a table, along with the next item, number eight, parts of a mini nuke. As you can see, these make for an interesting display in the sciency area of your settlement. They can be found at Gorski Cabin, which is pretty much straight south of Concord. You'll just have to take care of Wayne Gorski. and the parts are yours to display in your favorite sci-fi settlement. Number nine, the Hallucinin Gas Grenade. This is also an item I displayed in the science area of my Vault 42 build. It's not completely unique because you can make a limited amount of extra gas grenades once you know how. I think only nine total though. But when they're full, they display a cool neon green stripe and make for an interesting display item. So, to learn how to make them, you'll need to complete the Hazardous Material Quest. I made an entire video on that, so I won't go over it here, but the link is down in the description below. And number 10, the Nuka-Cola Recipe Books. Like a few other items in this episode, the Nuka recipes will require a DLC, Nuka World to be exact. Throughout the realm, you'll stumble upon recipe books that'll give you the ability to craft new Nuka-Cola flavors at a mixing machine. I think there are like a total of 15, but after you pick up the book and learn the recipe, the book will stay in your inventory and it can be used to decorate bookshelves and stuff. You can see an example here in my Covenant build. Looks pretty awesome. You'll need to manually place them, but they look way better than burnt books and are thicker than magazines. So, along with the overdue books, they can fill up a decorative bookshelf rather nicely. Oh, and a final bonus tip. A few viewers let me know that the giant Vim bottle respawns. So you can go back to the place that I showed off in the last video and grab another one. If I had known this earlier with enough time that had passed in the game since I found the first one, I could have had one decorating every settlement without having to move the first one around. Or maybe even make like a Vim bar with like a bunch of Vim kegs stacked in the background. Anyway, wanted to let you know about that. I've already grabbed my second one and it'll go back for my third soon. If anyone knows the exact respawn time, leave it down in the after school club below. Anyway, that's going to wrap up part two of this mini series. There are a few more items to cover, so stay tuned for a part three but it's going to depend on the likes and the view count so if you want to see more smash that like button and share the video around and if you have any suggestions be sure to add them to that reddit post link down in the description below thanks again for watching guys and supporting the channel and if you want to support the channel in more ways not only is my patreon taking on new members of the student council but you can now hit that join button for added perks see you in the next video happy building in class dismissed